Hello, my counted cross stitch friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May, and this is my channel, Art of Design, where we celebrate counted cross stitch, historical stitching, <laughs> little pugs, and you know, making all the things. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, I'm so happy you came back to talk counted cross stitch and needlework with me. I am a designer and I stitch under the design name Artith design. That is not my name. It is a name of a distant relative of mine that I really wanted to work on connecting the past and be a thread that connects the past to the present and hopefully into the future with needlework. I'm so happy to be here today. It is kind of towards the end of January 2022. I have been working away in my little office space here getting ready for the Nashville Needlework Market, which is a wholesale needlework show here in the United States. But there are designers from Europe, Australia, I think South Africa, South Africa, you know, several continents being represented <laughs> uh, at the show in Tennessee. So I am excited. I am very busy, <laughs> but I did get some stitching done this week, my own personal stitching, not model stitching. So I really wanted to come on the, on camera and actually talk about it. So I, I've got a couple minutes. I literally, I took a shower, so my hair is wet, but I got pugs. I got quiet kids. We're going to, we're going to make this happen. I got little Loki pug here. I don't know if he wants to say hi on camera. Do you want to say hi? Hi, baby. You want to say hi? Yeah, so they are ready for winter to be over. They do not like the snow. Well, they don't really like anything touching their paws. They're so funny. Look at her little tail. Look at that. And we're just, we're just happy, aren't we? Yeah? Yeah, okay. I want to talk about some cross stitch, not pug kisses. Oh my goodness, you're so precious. Do you want to, do you want to help me? I got, well, I have, so I have works in progress, um, whips to show you. I've got a couple whips, uh, and then I've got some best new things to talk about. And I think I'm going to get those out of the way. Um, I don't know what else. Let's just play it by ear and see what happens. I got pugs jumping on me. Let's let, we'll go with what I got right here. So this is in my 805 stitcher bag that I got from Stephanie Webb of Lindy Stitches. It's got a pug on it. She knows me all too well. I am working on this Halloween piece. It is Birds of a Feather. I got this piece, I purchased this on like one of those flash sales um, at Fat Quarter Shop. So I'm not sure if it is being, if it's, you know, officially out being reprinted. I am stitching it on a piece of linen. I know it's linen. And this is how far I got. I'm so excited. So I worked on, I filled in a bunch of the black here this weekend. And then I went through and I did the white of the teeth, which are not actually white. It's, I'll show you in a minute. And then I went through and filled out the whole mouth area. So the B is for the beware of cat. And it says beware and then it says Halloween. So beware of cat and then it has the year. It is charted. It does show you what the year, like how you can chart your own year. I'm not going to put a year in. I'm just gonna do that beware of cat. I don't know if I'll even have it say Halloween or I'll just do the beware of cat. I am stitching it with mustache of personal color and cotton flosses. I am part of Angela's color of like her little thread club thing. And it's my one and only thing that I, you know, buy for myself. I am a mom and I feel like buying, you know, new shoes every three weeks for the kids because they're like constantly growing. So I was like, this is one thing I can buy for myself and I can use up. So anyway, uh, color and cotton. So I'm using banana pepper for the green, carrot cake for like the apricot peach look, ruby for the red mouth. So that was what the mouth was, was that variegated red. DMC 3866 for the teeth. So it's a not pure white and then uh the 310 for the black it did say i needed more than one five yard skein and look at that that's the first <laughs> the first five yard skein first dmc skein so i definitely need another one uh the 
orange on like the beware part is in the salamander. And yeah, so I'm excited. I've got it on those adjustable rings. And then I made a little thread pad thing, you know, pre walking foot. So I don't have a walking foot installed on my sewing machine. Did I buy a walking foot? Yes. Have I been too afraid to use it? Yes. But <laughs> here's my sustainable stitching post for the day. I do not sew with knits or like, I don't like make sweatshirts or stuff, but I was given a bunch of fabric from an estate and the woman sewed like 1980s like the jogging suits and the track suits and it, like she even had the patterns like the Butterick 1987 track suit thing anyway it came with the fabric she said I got a couple bags of fabric and it's got that interior of you know sweatshirt material so I'm using that in case instead of felt I'm using that here as my little pad to catch my threads I did so awkwardly but it did happen I sewed down a neodymium magnet, one of those rare earth magnets down, and I made a patch with that fabric so that it will catch, a need catch the needles. And then I'm using a pin, a pin back. I got this from Pixel and Ink Creative. She is an awesome designer out of Louisiana. She does a bunch of birds and a bunch of really cool thing. She's, I got one of her pins. It says elder millennial. <laughs> she has one that says raised by TV and it looks like the, the cartoon, like Rocco's modern life from back in the day. But you know, that hit a little too close to home in my childhood being raised by TV. I'm like, I don't know if I want to advertise that with my enamel pin. <laughs> Sit and just ugly cry when I think about that. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I made my little pad and it's uh, with fabric that I designed uh, and had printed out it just on the petal cotton and cross stitch makes me happy. So I've got to make some more stuff, but I haven't been making the time. Well, I'm making the time to sew, but sewing and stuff like and working on stuff for my models for Nashville, not personal sewing. Does that make sense? Okay. I went out and ran a bunch of errands by myself, no children, went out of the house. And if I'm going to go out of the house and drop off stuff at the shop. So I had, I, uh, Mount Airy Commons is a store and I have a vendor space there and they're in downtown Mount Airy, Maryland. And so I took some of my Valentine stuff down there and it's like, if I'm gonna go drop off that, I'm also gonna stop at the thrift store that is down like on Main Street as well. Because hello, why not? No children, I have to do work stuff. Why not like pop in and do some fun stuff too? Like look for clothing for moi and cross stitch, clothing and cross stitch and crafts, you know, all the C's and coffee cups. See all the and cupcakes. Well, they don't have cupcakes there, but the cupcake molds, you never know. Wilton. Oh. All right. I found this. An, alf, an apple a day. An apple a day. <laughs> Excuse me. It's by Periwinkle Promises. And I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I saw it's a cat. So I got it. It has linen. It doesn't tell me the size of the linen. It doesn't tell me the stitch count. It doesn't tell me anything. It's literally just threads. And, and I'm looking, I'm like, are those silks? And they are. So I'm super excited. It says, oh, here it is. Silk. If I stop and read long enough, I can see, I can get the directions. All right, here we go. Silk and 28 count linen kit. So I thought it's super cute. It's silk, it's linen, it was affordable. And it looks like the little Periwinkle Promises. So she does go team and there's like football. So some other little pieces. I don't know if this, if she is still designing. She's a little school bus pillow. But she, it looks like she was out of New York. Periwinkle Promises. So I should, 
Should probably have researched that before I started this video. If I stop and research, I don't film. That's kind of like how it is. All right. The next thing I worked on is the Sweet Summer Sampler. This is a bright needle chart. I am not sure where you can find these, if they are in print or not. I got my copy complete with marks and everything on eBay. And then I am doing the conversion. It's all stitched in this, the, the thread gatherer silks. I decided to use the anchor floss conversion with the one non-optional, like there's no color conversion for it type. So the, let me just show you. So the threads, I got the anchor and then the one silk that they said, you just, you, there's no substitute. We just can't substitute it. So you better just buy the silks and suck it up and work with the silks. I literally just kept it in the bag it came in. I didn't put it on thread drops. I don't want the, these on thread drops because I only have DMC and Fancy Floss on thread drops. I don't have, and the color in cotton comes on thread drops, right? But as far as the skeins for non-DMC companies, I don't I don't want to get confused. So I'm leaving the anchor on the in the skeins and I'm just and I'm okay with that. Until I figure out a better organization thing for non-DMC threads. And so this is the Stormy Skies by the Thread Gatherer Silk and Colors that they recommend. And it's really nice. So I am, I am glad it's, it's, it's been nice. So this is on a 28 count Jobelin, which it's a, the, the fabric, it's an even weave fabric, which means that the warp and the weft, so the horizontal and the vertical together are even. So the count for one inch of fabric. So if there's tw in, in one inch this way, there's 28 strands of the fiber. And then the other way, there's 28 strands of the fiber. So it's an even weave fabric. I know a lot of people have said, you know, oh, I read in patterns, it says Ada and the capital A for Ada. So it says Ada cloth and then it'll say, or an even weave fabric or a linen, like without specifying that it's an even weave. Pretty much, unless it specifically says 99% of all linen is even weave. There are many uneven weave linens out there, especially like in the textile industry. Like I have some really lovely tops, like linen blazers. Those are made out of uneven weave linen, which means like the one count might be 50, 50 in an inch and then 42. So like 50 this way, 42 that way. That's uneven because the counts are not even. So in textiles for for like the clothing industry, you'll really see uneven weave. But for needlework, you're mostly working in even weave cloth. So a school bus went by and the pugs freak out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. School bus. The pugs got really excited and I had to go put them in their crate. So I brought a couple little pugs to put in their place and they're, they're pretty quiet. So I hope that's all right. All right, I was uh, t talking about fabric. So this is a synthetic fabric, which means that it's not a cotton, it's not linen. It feels like it could be part acrylic or part something, but it is even weave, meaning the horizontal and vertical are equal. So this is an even weave fabric, 28 count even weave. And it is the called for color, but in a different, so it's on water lily. And it's a water lily Jobelin fabric, which is synthetic. I like it. And most of the time, the synthetic fabrics are cheaper, like per square inch, like yardage wise, it's more economical to get an even weave fabric that's not linen. So it's just something to think about. And usually it's a thicker fabric too. Again, something to think about. All right, so here is where I am. I am stitching it uh, two strands over two even weave threads. And I'm really happy. So I 
I think it's really cool. I made a mistake on the pedal here. Like I got really enthusiastic. So the pedal is way bigger on this side. I am not taking out and fixing it. I think it looks great. I mean, it's not symmetrical, but I'm a little wonky. So I feel like it's within reason to leave it. So I got that one big flower I got down here. So this now I'm all, I'm at the fill in stage, filling this in, but this was all black here. And I've got to do the, the wonky alphabet. So I'm really excited. I, I really like this piece. I love sunflowers. So I'm hoping to make some more progress on that. The next project I worked on is, oh shoot, I brought this to show you. Um, I love Valentine's Day and cottage garden samplings. She's amazing. Her new winter in the woods series. Oh my gosh. I am like, I love every single thing she does. <laughs> So I wanted to bring that and show you. Okay. I guess it would help if I put my threads with my project. Some days I'm like, yes, I'm so organized. I'm on top of everything. Life. I mean, I showered, brushed my teeth. Things are looking good. Then I turn around and I'm like, where are my car keys? What are you going to project I worked on is by uh, Laura Daub, D-A-U-B. She is a relatively new cross-stitch designer, but she took the Instagram by storm in December with her Merry Witch Miss advent calendar. I printed out most of the days um, to stitch and I've stitched several of them. I did not print out the digital rendering mock-up of this one, so I can't show you the before, but it did have a number. It has a number 23 and then a, a large specialty stitch uh, star. I am working on this series, but I am not putting the day number. Uh, most of it's all backstitched. I'm not putting the backstitched day in because I, I'm not sure if I'm going to reorder the, like, the motifs. So I've done... So this is the one I just worked on. Please, 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 people, if you're cutting your stuff and you're like, what am I going to do with a three inch piece of fabric? Well, Amanda May will tell you, you can like totally keep it and then have little squares to make little tiny ornaments. And then look, I can still finish this as a pillow if I didn't want to do a stand up, stand alone. Look at that. There's enough margin there. You really only need a half, one half of one, like a half inch. To, to sew, to leave yourself a quarter inch seam like on your sewing machine if you wanna make a little pillow. Just throwing it out there. Okay. I know you're going, Amanda May, there's a difference between like being frugal and hoarding. Like I'm not advocating that you hoard. I'm just saying like, you don't have to throw away scraps of linen. Okay, so these are the ones that I have worked on. And then I've got, Got a little ice cream. I gotta figure out what I'm doing with that. But I just put some random complimentary linen and even weaves in here and I'm stitching them up. I hope to just kind of dabble as we go. I will put her website down. I'm not sure if it's if this pattern is still available um, or if she took it down to reformat it to make it. I'm not sure. I'll put her website and you can go, you can go check it out. So that is what I've been stitching on this week. Those are my works in progress. I have fully finishes, but I can't show you because they're for market. But I do want to do a really fast what I'm all into because yeah, what am I, what am I all into? I am all into Disney's Enc Encanto. I told you all a couple weeks ago that I might, you know, watch the film like 47 times with my children. That prophecy has been reached. It has happened. And I had to run errands and I saw the doll kit and there was four of them and it was at the Mart of Wall exclusive. And look at Louisa. Look at her. Amazing. So I did a blog post about her and why this doll is amazing and important because 
representation matters. Doll, pos doll sizes, body positivity, and look at him and his hair. Representation matters. Okay. I'm all into those dolls. And then I'm all into this book. It's got my, it's got the interlibrary loan thing on the front. So I'm, but it's um, Cross Stitch Christmas. And I have this linked in my craft book thing from Amazon. Um, okay. Oh, can I show like, Cross Stitch Christmas. It is so adorable. And like these most darling little like dainty stitches. I saved this one. I'm all into that. Look at that. Yes, please. Love it. So this book looks awesome. I haven't stitched anything out of it. She does a lot, a lot of back stitches and like really delicate little stitches. So I recommend looking at that. I will have links to everything. I don't think I won't, I won't have, I'll have a link to my blog post for the dolls because yeah. All right. I love ya. I hope you have a beautiful week of stitching. I will be back soon. I gotta go. Mwah!